Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another Halloween hunting video for you all today. So I went to a couple of my local home goods recently and they had the most beautiful things for Halloween out on the shelves. So I knew I wanted to film it for you guys just to kind of give you an idea of what is hitting the shelves. But before we get started, if you are new here, I would absolutely love for you to join us by subscribing down below. So here is my local home goods. I love this one. The second I walked in, they had so many adorable things. So they had a bunch of these little felt guys. These have been hitting the shelves for the past couple years now at Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I absolutely love them. I think they're adorable. I feel like they're also a really good price point. This one was a standout one for me. I have never seen her before. Really cute little pink monster and that vibrant color just really was just so pretty i loved it and also this little green girl here so cute spoiler alert i did bring both of them home i just thought that they were just too cute also this set of three ghosts was really cute they're each holding a letter to spell out the word boo i thought that those were really fun and of course a ton of garland so i was actually worried um, I would say like about a month ago when I started to see everything hitting the shelves that I wasn't going to get my hands on some of these really beautiful garlands, but luckily enough, they are everywhere this year. So if that is something you're into, you will have no issue at all finding them. These are just some of the ones that I saw. So the pumpkin one was also really cute. They have some gnome ones. I know a lot of people are really into gnomes and this one was really cute with a little, little, uh, candy corn version these were some pumpkin candy corn i thought that those were really fun they're usually about in i would say the 15 dollars price range some were a little bit less expensive some a couple dollars more they also had these adorable galvanized lanterns in a bunch of different colors and different cutouts and shapes so those are really fun here's another garland definitely no shortage of those this year and this is another one that I thought was really cute if you're into the gnomes. So these were the two different versions that they had at this home goods. They have kind of the candy corn one. It's definitely Halloween, but I would say you can kind of get away with that all fall. And then the jack-o'-lantern hat ones are obviously definitely best for Halloween. And then they had this one, which was really cute. I actually really loved this one, just the plain candy corn. I thought that was really fun. This one was a really pretty one as well. Some different colors in there for Halloween. They kind of had those blush pinks and the yellows and oranges, really fun. Now these were not exactly Halloween. They were kind of in the Halloween area, but if you were really into Ray Dunn, I thought that those would be really fun to kind of dress up for Halloween because they have that matte black look to them. And then I saw these, love these. They had a bunch of them here two different sayings. They were definitely on the pricey side. I believe they were $130. Really nice quality though. If you have the room for this, oh, I just think it's so stunning. Definitely a standout piece. My favorite of the two was the witch one. I love on the bottom there how it says the witch is in. Really cute. I just absolutely love those. I personally don't have the room for it, so I just kind of have to admire it and move on. Here's another one of those felt creatures, and they had so many pillows this year. And a lot of the pillows I had seen last time were actually already gone, but they did restock them, which was great, and had a bunch of new fun ones. Next, I went over to their homeware department with all their kitchen utensils, and I saw this guy. He has actually been around for a couple years, but I have never been able to find him, so I did pick him up. I thought he was great, but really cute with these different towels here. For only $3.99, you could even take the sponge out and just use him as a holder for something else. I probably will use him as a sponge holder. And they had some really adorable salt and pepper shakers, some more of these lanterns. This three set was a favorite of mine. I love how they have all three different creatures there. And then next I decided that same day to head on over to another home goods that was pretty close. By the time I got here, it was raining, but it's okay. It kind of adds to the spooky Halloween spirit. And they also had a 
bunch of goodies set out at this one. I think they had just put out their new inventory, which was awesome because they had multiples of a lot of things and so many good things to kind of go through. So one of the first things I saw were these gnomes here. So these reminded me of the ghosts that we had seen at the previous home goods, but they say eek instead of boo. They also had this really cute pumpkin garland, which they did not have at my other home goods. I have seen this guy before, really nice looking, just not really my style, and a bunch more of these felt guys. This was new to me, I had not seen this yet this year. I actually really like it, it was a really nice size and it kind of just has that candy corn tree look to it. These ghosts are really fun too, they did have a girl version, I think she pops up in a little bit, and a bunch of these wood pumpkins which were really pretty and can definitely be used for the entire fall season, which is awesome. And then I spotted this guy in the back and I almost lost my mind because he is the matching boy for the pink girl that we saw at the previous Home Goods. So you know I had to get him and I had to reunite the two of them together. So that was probably my favorite find here. These beautiful glitter bats were really fun also. You get three in a pack and they're really nice wood and then they have that glitter overlay, really pretty. This is that girl ghost that I was talking about. So I think they only had one of her, but a bunch of the boy ones and some more of those really cute felt ghosts. This guy was another favorite for me. I just thought it was so fun. I mean, he's a candy corn, he's giant, and on top of it, he is a vampire. So how can you go wrong? So adorable down here a bunch more so these are the ones that we saw at the previous home goods they definitely had more of those and some more of those same candy corn gnome garlands and i think they had several sets of these so these seem to be quite popular this year they are popping up all over the place this tarantula was actually cast iron super heavy but awesome quality and he was at a really good price point, I feel, for the kind of uniqueness of it. So I almost picked him up, but I did end up putting him down. But I really, really did love him. And then I was so excited to see the skeleton. So I had seen someone else post this guy, and I fell in love with him. I think he has such a cute face for a skeleton. So I was really excited to get to see him in person. Plus, they had the bigger version of him, which I hadn't seen prior. So that was really awesome. And then they also had this All Hallows Eve sign, which I thought was so minimal and just really beautiful. And the sign itself was actually metal and then had that wood framing around it. Here we have a bunch more of the pillows and just some more felt guys. They had another one of the vampire ones and then a bunch of these cute little devil candy corns, which are adorable. Some more of those gnomes back there. I think that one says treat. Overall, this home goods had a really great selection. And then I decided to wait just a few days and then hit up my home goods again. And luckily, they did restock. So I did see some of the same things, but I did spot a bunch of new stuff as well. So they had this he is a lantern, I think. A lantern gnome. He's kind of a witch. Really cute. I thought he was fun looking. A bunch of these spooky books that I've been seeing all over the place some new candles like this white pumpkin candle with the bats really pretty if you love a black and white motif these books are awesome i love these i've been seeing everyone posting them they usually do some version of these i mean they're not new but they do have new styles each year but this set of three was really cute if that is your vibe really fun they have like that kind of spooky fortune teller vibe to them really cute they also had some artwork which is always fun to hang up i particularly liked this one i thought that one was really fun and a bunch of kind of serving wear a bunch of skeletons they had metal skeletons where they have a bowl or a tray which are great for putting some hors d'oeuvres in so that was really cool then i headed over to the homeware department again i actually was on a mission i was looking for a ghost cookie jar Unfortunately, I have not been successful in locating him yet, but they did have some other fun cookie jars. This one was really cute with Hocus Pocus on the front. 
almost picked it up, but I restrained myself and I didn't get it. This is another one that I was so tempted by. Really, really cute. I loved it. it. has like that nice lid that just pulls on off. Perfect for cookies and treats for the fall season. That one was so cute. They also had a bunch more throws, which was awesome. A lot of Snoopy. I've been seeing the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown merchandise everywhere this year. It is just exploding everywhere I go. It is there, but I love it. It's really cute. And look at this guy. How can you resist him? Adorable little pillow. This gnome pillow was also really cute. He had 31 numbers on him, a little countdown gnome for Halloween. Adorable. This was another gnome pillow. Really cute. They definitely are restocking the pillows very quickly. I think that they are selling out very quickly and I keep seeing new pillows every time I go. And if you see one you like, you have to grab it because I put one down, went back the next day to go pick it up and it was already sold out. So if you see it, you kind of have to get it at home goods just because they do go so quickly. This was something else I was so excited by. It is a set of four placemats with the witch on the broom. Really cute. They have a cork bottom to them. They are just adorable. So I did end up taking those home as well. And then they had just a bunch more Ray Dunn stuff. So they had Ray Dunn pillows and these Ray Dunn candles. I thought that they were really cute. They were sold separate, but if you like, you can get all three and kind of have a nice little set of them. And the last thing I spotted while I was checking out were these really cute little candy monsters. But that is it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this Halloween hunting video. I am just so excited for Halloween. I'm so ready for it. And I hope that you guys are too. Thank you so much for watching. To subscribe to my channel, you can just click on my picture right here.